What's good, YTBC? What's good, Fight Fans? Boxing heads around the world. B Marsh with another boxing video. So this is my breakdown and prediction for this uh, Super... What is it? Super Bantamweight. Super Bantamweight fight we got coming up between the WBA champion and the lineal champion at the Super Bantamweight division. Guillermo El Chacal Rigondeau. Definitely a top five pound for pounder in my opinion versus an undefeated fighter by the name of Moises Chucky Flores. You know what I mean? Chucky like the like the dog from the horror movies. You know what I mean? Well, this is a good fight right here, man. And many experts believe actually this is going to be the hardest test for Gamma Rigondeaux so far in his career. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, this guy, Moises Flores, you know, I've seen a few of his fights, man. Uh, one of his most memorable fights was a close decision he won against uh, the man Oscar Escondón, you know what I mean? That's when Oscar Escondón was fighting at uh, 120, 122, you know what I'm saying? And that's actually how Moises Flores became the WBA interim champion, you know what I'm saying, at the at the junior bantamweight division. I'm sorry, not junior bantamweight, but uh, super bantamweight, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this is a good fight right here, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to this fight. You know what I mean? I've been looking forward. You know, I said it previously before in videos, man. When the man Gamma Ringadel fights to me, man, that's like um, it's like an event to me. You know what I'm saying? I really believe in this guy's talent. You know what I mean? He's an entertaining fighter, in my opinion. You know what I mean? You know, anytime I get to see him fight, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm gonna be entertained with um, you know. The sweet science, you know what I'm saying? Skills pay the bills and Gamma Rigondeaux packs a serious punch. You know what I'm saying? He's been breaking opponents' faces. Three out, of, three out of his last four opponents, he's knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Fellas don't want to get in there in the ring with him because he's the bone collector, the jawbreaker, you know what I mean? The orbital bone snatcher, you know what I mean? Son, don't be playing with these fighters, you know? And uh, big ups to the man Chucky, you know? He's been wanting this shot for a while, you know what I'm saying? He's the interim champ. The mandatory, well, he gets his shot at El Chacal, you know what I'm saying? Well, as far as styles, El Chacal is a shorter fight. I believe he's about 5'4", as opposed to this guy, Moises Flores, who's tall for the division, you know what I mean? He's about 5'9", you know what I'm saying? I think he even has a longer reach, you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at the specifics right now, but I do believe he has a longer reach, you know what I mean? You check it, but you know, the man Guillermo Rigondeaux is a kind of fighter who... No matter how tall the opponent is, how short he is, he's just one of those special fighters, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, like Manny Pacquiao, you know what I mean? He's a short fighter as well, you know what I'm saying? But uh, no matter how tall the opponent is, i.e. guys like uh, Antonio Margarito, <clears throat> the height difference won't bother him, you know what I mean? You check it, you know. As far as styles, this guy, uh, Moises Flores, He's the kind of guy who's tall, but he actually likes to fight on the inside, you know what I mean? Especially on smaller fighters, because nine times out of ten, he's going to be the taller fighter, you know what I mean? So he has adapted, and he has actually a good inside game, you know what I'm saying? When he, th when he throws the inside game into his uh, game plan, then this guy is actually a dangerous fighter, and that's how he wins most of his fights. Actually, that's how he, uh, he got to beat uh, the man Oscar Escondón. Even though it was a close fight, I thought Chucky Flores won the fight. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be mad at a draw, but I thought he slightly edged it, you know what I mean? Against Oscar Oscar Escondón, you know? But uh, Moises Flores is a guy who, uh, when he gets up close, you know what I'm saying? He likes to throw them body shots, you know what I mean? He likes to throw uppercuts, you know what I'm saying? He likes to throw wide right or left hooks, you know what I mean? But actually, that could be detrimental to his game plan right there if he tries to do that against the man... Uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, you know what I'm saying? Because Guillermo Rigondeaux is a patient fighter, you know what I mean? And him being patient, he's going to be actually the counterpunch in this fight, you know what I mean? He's going to be waiting for this guy to be aggressive and leave himself open, you know what I'm saying? Because he can get tagged. Oscar Escondón was tagging the shit out of him. If Oscar Escondón fought against Guillermo Rigondeaux, I'd have Guillermo Rigondeaux knock him out within four rounds, you know what I mean? This guy right here, he also comes in face first, head forward, you know what I'm saying? His, head, his defense is not up to par. It's not quite like Guillermo Rigondeaux, you know what I mean? Like Guillermo Rigondeaux, his also is, 
his def offense is predicated to his defense, you know what I'm saying? You know, the guys are our counterpart, our master counterpart, you know what I mean? He has superb footwork, you know what I'm saying? And this tall guy is going to be the guy who's going to be coming forward, you know what I mean? Um, um, Chucky Floor is going to be coming forward. Gamma Rigondeaux got great lateral movement, great hand speed, you know what I'm saying? I see him throwing that left hook, one-twos, you know what I'm saying? Throwing shots from different angles, you know? And that's what's going to bother the man Chucky Flores, you know what I mean? Chucky Flores would like to have a steady target right in front of him that he could just uh, go into, cut cut off the ring and just go to the rib cage and just pound on the ropes. But that won't be Gamble Rigondeaux, man. Gamble Rigondeaux is an elusive fighter. I think Gamble Rigondeaux's head movement and the hand speed is going to be the difference in this fight. He's going to be throwing them one-twos from the south pole position. He's going to be throwing with them. He's going to be putting his hands down, trying to invite the man... Moises Flores to come forward and attack, you know what I'm saying? And when he throws them wide looping shots, he's going to get caught with uppercuts, right hooks, left hooks to the face. I think Guillermo Rigondeaux is going to dissect him. And I do believe this guy, Moises Flores, is the toughest fighter that, one of the toughest fighters that Guillermo Rigondeaux is going to have face. Probably the second toughest um, behind um, No Need to No Nail, you know what I'm saying? Because of his size frame, his reach. You know what I'm saying? In length, he can cause problems, you know what I mean? But I think Gamma Rigondeaux is too elusive for him, you know what I mean? And I think he's just going to be counter-punching. He's going to be moving laterally, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think this guy at point, points in time won't want to open up, you know what I mean? He won't want to open up because he's getting tagged too too often and too early, you know what I'm saying, by Rigondeaux. And, you know, this this fight could possibly, you know, Gamma Rigondeaux could possibly get... um get a go go the distance with this guy after this guy decides man he he's tired of taking these shots and getting dissected you know what i'm saying i think he's just gonna fall back and he's just gonna lay in the cut like uh baby like like the man baby chavez did against uh, against cannoli you know what i'm saying he's not gonna want to take any more shots you know and i think Gamma rigandau wins this fight via unanimous decision wide unanimous decision you know what i mean even though i think chucky flores is a good fighter decent fighter but I just think he leaves himself too open and he's not a, he's an easy target to hit, you know what I mean? Oscar Escondon was tearing him up, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get to see his fight against Paulo Sambundu, the guy from Namibia, you know, but um, he won that fight on points, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'd like to see what Guillermo Regendahl, what kind of game plan he comes in with this, into this fight. Should he just wait for the guy and, you know, because a lot of skeptics say Guillermo Regendahl is born. Well, that's going to um, depend on how Moises Flores comes to attack Rigo. Rigo will not assert any more uh, energy than he than he has to, you know what I mean? If this guy doesn't want to fight against Rigo, throw punches, Rigo's not going to be the one going to be trying to throw the first bombs, you know what I mean? He's a counter-puncher by nature, you know what I mean? And I think he's going to pop shot this guy to death, tear him up and just surgically dis dissect um Chucky Flores, you know what I mean? Can Chucky Flores make it interesting? He can if he tries to use his reach and his length, you know what I mean? And he's also kind of not a dirty fighter, but he's a guy who likes to use his forearm and actually actually even use his jab and just place it on a guy's head just to basically prop a guy's head up and just throw the right hand, you know what I mean? Depends on if the referee will let him get away with these dirty tactics. That's the only way I see him even making this fight closer. But if the referee is strict... I don't see this guy Moises Flores giving Rigo any problems, even though he's supposed to. All right, B-Marsh Boxing, I got Rigo winning by unanimous decision. Wide, you know what I'm saying? Probably like 9-3 or something. Even long, even probably like 11-1 11 to 1 or 10-2, to 2, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Give me your prediction. Let me know who you think is going to win this fight. B-Marsh Boxing, I'm out. Peace.